Probably today's video is going to be the most valuable video I ever made for freshers in the biotech sector. So if you are in the age group from 22 to 28 and you're a fresher, you're looking for a job into the biotech industry, then this video is for you. Why exactly I'm making this video is because I received an email from a 22 year old student and she's about to pass out her uh, masters and she has emailed me that how should I crack into big biotech companies which are in billions of dollars? How can I get a job there as a fresher and uh, not in smaller companies? So I thought to make this video so that it'll serve as a guidance to her and to many of you. Now to start with, you have to remember this, that the pathway to a bigger company always passes through small companies. So please don't ignore getting a job into a smaller company because those companies will actually give you the real world experience which can be counted in a bigger company. So that's something we cannot ignore and we cannot deny. Now, having said that, the next question is, how should you crack open plethora of opportunities for yourself in big companies? Now, I have five points for you today. Now, these are apart from the regular points. See, the regular points will be upskill, reskill, cross-skill, learn things. But I'm going to tell you things which I generally don't talk about in my other videos. First thing is, whenever you are trying for a job, if it is a you know non-technical job, like sales and business development you don't need a prior experience all you need is a good communication skill and convincing skill but when it comes to biotech it is a technical skill right big biotech companies will not hire you unless you have some kind of hands-on experience now to do that you can always go for internships biotechnica has a dedicated internship page where more than 5,000 biotech startups and companies come and post including government post their internship opportunities now, what benefit you get there is if you go to Biotechnica website and go through every internship has a small tenure, like, okay, as soon as it is open, the applications open within 48 hours or 96 hours, it will close. So the best foot forward will be to subscribe to Biotechnica. The URL is biotechnica.org slash subscribe. Please subscribe to Biotechnica's free newsletter so that you are informed on time whenever such an internship comes and then you apply. And as soon as you apply, remember, you have to apply fast before anyone else does. Then only your chances of getting selected is high. So once you've applied, you'll go through the recruitment process, you get a job. So once you've done this internship, it can be with stipend, without stipend, sometimes you have to pay whatever it is. If you are getting a chance to learn technical skills, do it. But during the internship also explore if they're allowing you to publish papers okay so that's something which uh, actually is my second point so look for internship where you are getting an opportunity to work on cutting edge technologies now one point which uh, i forgot to mention in the beginning of my video is the top biotech companies are already saturated with all the manpower they already have the best ones so why should they hire a fresher right now what is happening is the already established scientists have all the existing skill set, but they don't have the future skill set. So you have to find the market gap. Why exactly someone will hire a fresher compared to the experienced guy? The reason is because the experienced guy is not having technical skills probably on CRISPR, on, on the latest technology which is coming up like bioinformatics, artificial intelligence, machine learning. So it is like they are blind to these technologies. They have passed that learning phase, but you have not. So if you learn these things, you can do so and then uh, while you're doing internship or uh, during these projects so that's my second point do a project on cutting edge technologies which the top senior scientists also don't have and then publish a paper the first thing of course you've done, you're doing an internship in a biotech company the second thing also is uh, you should work on projects maybe side by side or after your office you can do those projects so that you can publish papers right now please don't publish paper just for the namesake of it publish because you really worked on that okay not because you just took some uh, you know data and uh, randomly published in some journal no peer reviewed top not journals you should publish as soon as you got the job in, as an intern also or whether you're publishing paper or you're working on a project remember whenever you get an opportunity you have to publish some data on linkedin on your profile okay so it can be some video that you are working or you are receiving some award from your CEO or somebody. Certificates, if you received a best performance certificate, something like that, post it on LinkedIn. So it can be a video, it can be an image of your certificate, it can be some text you post that what was your experience in this project. Right? Recently, one of our students went and uh, she was awarded a prize by 
the um, chairman of DBT. So she published that on her LinkedIn and tagged me as well. So, you know, these kind of things you can do. And so then also you can always sometimes you know, participate in online events and go live about it that you are going to participate. These things you should do on your LinkedIn. So you have to be active on your LinkedIn so that you and the HR, when they are going to hire the big companies, they will see all of that, right? It will serve as a good thing for you. If you have uh, already done all, all the first two points, the third point will be, now that you have the experience, you have the, done the project, you've done the internship, go and talk to some scientist, okay, and say that I want to volunteer. It may not be a private company, it can be some government lab also. Say that, uh, but it should be somebody who is like top-notch scientist, okay, an IEC scientist or some IIT scientist. Volunteer, even if they are not ready to pay stipend, still you say, okay, I'll work for you for three months, six months. And then mention that you got an opportunity to work with this particular top scientist in uh, CRISPR or bioinformatics. So this will help you, right? So when you have worked under a top scientist as a volunteer, you are mentioning there that you have a work experience, right? So you have work experience of a startup company internship. Then you have work experience of a project in top-notch cutting-edge technologies. Then you also have a work experience working under a scientist in a wet lab. So now the next thing will be once you've done that, you should always connect to a placement cell. Of course, you have passed out, right? There's no college. So where will be the placement cell? Yes, you heard me right. Biotechnica has a placement cell. You can connect to Biotechnica's placement cell. Link is given in the description. You can uh, become a member of the Biotechnica's placement cell. So what Biotechnica's placement cell does is it is connected to more than 500 companies and these companies are constantly sending their requirements to us and we are informing our members that this requirement has come. Whoever applies, we polish the resume. We negotiate on the behalf of the candidate. We arrange the interviews and when the interview happens, uh, you get a job. So yeah, if you have done the first three points, the fourth point will come very handy for you. Somebody will help you from our team to get placed. So that's the fourth point. And of course, uh, once you've got placed, that's what we are looking at. Now, another thing which I wanted to highlight is uh, the fifth point for today is most of you think that your technical skill gets you hired. That's not true. The truth is how you speak during your interview. Okay. How dynamic you are how you absorb questions, your body language, your soft skills, your facial expressions, how um, politely you answer or how rudely you answer. All of this is called as interview skill, right? So the interview skill gets you a job and your technical skill helps you sustain that job, okay? The technical skill can help you get an interview call, but the interview call is totally dependent on your interview giving skill. So that is why once you become a member of Biotechnica's placement cell, we also give you regular training on mock interviews. So we'll arrange a HR who will conduct some mock interviews. He will be from a top company. So what happens now is whenever we are doing this, you get to know insights, okay, how these guys are hiring, right? And that is where you get a job faster because you have mastered not just the technical skill, but also a skill which is how to give a biotech interview. And as a fresher, this is very important. So if you follow these five out-of-the-box ideas, you are bound to get a job in top-notch companies whenever the vacancy comes. Even if they write two years experience, you, you will get shortlisted because you have all these five points in your favor. So let me know which point you felt difficult. I will further guide you on that. So please comment below. And of course, I will keep making more videos to assist our Freshers, fresh graduates and post graduates who will who will shine in the future world of biotech. So all the best and keep following Biotechnica. Subscribe to us to get all the latest biotech news and jobs opportunities. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.